Hello and welcome to Deeply Rooted episode number 188. I'm your host Robin Norgren and I am so happy that you're here. It's such a privilege to wake up and acknowledge that you do have choices throughout your day. And I think that that is one of my biggest discoveries uh, leaning into my spiritual life and my walk with God is to understand that even in the hardest of days, there are moments that I can choose. And so thanks for being here and for helping me to remind myself as I encourage you that we really are spiritual beings having human experiences. Taking a moment to dabble in beauty. Martha Beck says, start moving forward in any path that, though it's difficult, feels right. Crossroads are good. Points in time come up that challenge you, scare you, encourage you, relieve you of expectations, of disappointments, of vision. What crossroads are you facing today? Is there an answer that your heart's been leaning towards? What is hindering you from moving onto that path? Face it, make peace with it, and move. So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. All right, today's writing prompt for you and for me is once when no one was looking. Here's what I wrote. Once when no one was looking, I chose me. Very quietly. I didn't even tell me what I was doing. I wanted to be chosen. I wanted to be picked. To be mentored. Someone to see the potential I so easily and willingly see and saw and also acknowledged in others. I slowly discovered that when you long to be chosen so badly, your generosity with your time and with your heart is taken advantage of in subtle ways and also in blatant, harsh, destructive ways. And you dare not say a word Because we chose you, you owe us. So one day I did something and I told no one. I signed up for a creativity e-course way before e-courses were as prevalent as they are now, 2009. And the people I met talked to me as if I had already chosen myself as an artist. I didn't believe it, but I wanted to. 
and my soul knew I had to get into the right room to start practicing what I knew to be true. I was on my computer in Germany and no one knew. And I started to first mimic what I saw others doing. And slowly, I found my way. From the book Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West by Daniel Ladinsky. Here are some poems from Kabir. This one's titled, See If They Wet Their Pants. The words Guru, Swami, Super Swami, Master, Teacher, Murshid, Yogi, Priest. Most of them sporting such a title are just peacocks. The litmus test is Hold them upside down over a cliff for a few hours. If they don't wet their pants, maybe you found a real one. This one's called Seasons in the Mind. There are seasons in the mind. Great currents and winds move there. The true yogi ties a rein to them. A power plant he becomes. Winter, spring, summer, fall. These are pages in a book the advance can turn to and impart. Order is a great benefit to the seeker. Otherwise, living in one's own house can become as walking through a marketplace. Where all the merchants keep shouting, You owe me! That does not sound like much fun. And who could accomplish anything in all that noise? The slightest idea. The moon and I call each other moon. And the sun and I call each other sun. All while this truth exists. I have been so crazy in love with the earth for the last 50 years that not for one second have I lifted my head out from beneath her skirt. Who is that wild looking character then who can shop in the market and tend for his family that some may call Kabir? I don't have the slightest idea. Some entries from my journal, Diary of a Montessori Teacher and Creative Entrepreneur. January 24th. Six camera sewing kits packaged and photographed and ready to post on Etsy and Montessori Josie's Art School website. Joined a Facebook group found through Craft Club to brainstorm art kits for three to five-year-olds. I'm also super interested in STEAM Club for elementary students. Yesterday I went through and edited the podcast to reflect the accurate number of episodes I have done. 185. It made me realize I am an artist who teaches. On the same day I watched the outtake of Pam from The Office say, I am an artist who works at a paper company. January 25th. An artist whose whose work I have admired because of its Basquiat feel is offering a technique class in February, which I am considering taking. I listed the six sewing kits on Etsy as well as the pouch option for this quarter's art journal kits. 
So the revamp is officially complete on Etsy and ready for my transition to Shopify as I go through my creative mastermind class. Completed the day three challenge of the craft club challenge with, with those listings. Day four, I'm going to set up an area in my house for me to teach online again. At school, each week I have a co-teacher, two who alternate with the inside teacher. So the, different, the energy is different in a noticeable way, depending on which teacher I have. And that really helps me to keep my eye on the goal. Talked with our lender yesterday and she seems optimistic about our buying options for a house changed my title to artist on LinkedIn. January 26th. The shenanigans of my partner in my in the ODE area is an incredible driving force to get my dreams realized. Found fabric as a backdrop for my YouTube videos. Posted a video yesterday and created two more plus went in and numbered all the episodes on YouTube. 188 art lessons. I know I've been doing this little dream for a long time now. Got a postcard from my alumni ASU, listed my graduated date, graduation date as the year of 2000. 22 years ago, I got my business degree. Well, my friends, this concludes our episode for today. And I just want to thank you so much um, for being a part of my community. And I truly hope you find value with what it is that I'm doing. And would you do me a favor and make sure and share and like and leave a review for this little podcast of mine. And if there's anything of interest to you that I offer, please make sure and go over to my website at www.robinnorgren.com. There you'll find all my links to my Etsy shop and to my Montessori um, curriculum and my art lesson curriculum, but also the art kits and the sewing kits that I've been talking about. Um, it's been an honor to serve you in this way. And I really do hope that the, this is a way for you to experience the love, the joy, the healing that can be found in living your life more fully.